How were ancient people able to create modern tools? Why is it that in our time, everything we produce stops working or is destroyed after a few years of use, while ancient buildings and objects are still able to perform their functions? Unfortunately, we will most likely never get answers to these questions. In this video, I will tell you about the most unusual archaeological discoveries that turned the world upside down. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Production of Prehistoric Weapons Archaeologists from the Israel Antiquities Authority have revealed amazing finds from Anishur and Anzipora, dating back to 5800-4500 BC. They discovered hundreds of slain stones that amazed researchers with their identical sizes. All of them were 52 mm long and about 32 mm wide and weighed 60 grams. Experts believe that this indicates large-scale weapons production in the southern Levant region. The the stones had a biconical shape, ensuring accuracy and efficiency of throwing. This is the first time that so many stones have been discovered in one place, indicating joint preparation for conflict and a transition from individual to mass production of weapons during the Chalcolithic period. Oldest Working Compass Archaeologists from the Estonian Maritime Museum have revealed details of recent finds at the excavation site of a medieval merchant ship in Tallinn. The ship, discovered a year ago, is perfectly preserved and reveals the secrets of the past. A particularly valuable find was one of the oldest magnetic compasses in Europe with a dry card, which is unique since the sensitive elements of compasses are usually in liquid. Also found on board were antique tools, worn leather shoes, a wooden spoon and the remains of two ship rats, which were surprisingly well preserved. The remains of the ship were found near the Estonian Harjapea River. At first, it was assumed that these were the remains of a cog, the main Hanseatic merchant ship, but the presence of a second mast indicates a possible transitional type between the cog and the hulk. Ancient Conical Tombs in the Chapultepec forest, archaeologists from the National Institute of Archaeology and History of Mexico made a unique discovery. They discovered 10 ancient truncated conical tombs, estimated to be 3,000 years old, dating from the periods from 2,500 to 400 BC. These burials, which resemble upside-down cut cones, are often called bottle tombs or bell tombs. Their diameter varies from 1 to 2 meters, with a maximum height of 1.5 meters. In five of them, human remains were found, including four women and one man, placed in a bent position. Interestingly, burials in rectangular boxes were discovered above the tombs, indicating a long history of the village after the classical period. Among the finds, archaeologists also discovered funeral offerings, deer antlers, concave convex bowls, fragments of slate discs, female figurines, as well as schematic figurines called ghosts. This discovery throws light on the ancient burial customs and culture of the people who lived in this region more than 3,000 years ago. Modern Saw Turing Excavations in Turkey, in the city of Korem, archaeologists discovered a unique saw about 2,250 years old, on the side of the capital of the ancient Hittite Empire. The tool, the first of its kind and strikingly similar to a modern saws, was found by a team led by Andreas Schachne of the German Archaeological Institute. The saw was discovered in the ruins of a building that matches the age of the artifact. It is surprising that in its appearance and characteristics the ancient saw is practically no different from modern tools. About 20 centimeters long, it was found on a slope where a large palace group of buildings is located. This find was the first discovered instrument of its kind from the 3rd century BC in the Roman world. Eternal Guard of Pompeii this plaster cast recreates the tragic picture of a dog that died in 79 during the eruption of Vesuvius in Pompeii. The color with spikes on the animal's neck indicates that the dog was a guard and remained at his post until the very end. Created using the methods of Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli, the cast was obtained by filling with plaster the woods left in the ashes after the death of animals and people. This is how many other prints were found in the city. The guard dog was discovered in 1874 in in the ruins of the house of a local rich man, Marcus Vizonius Prima, owner of a folding shop. 
Interestingly, on the threshold of this house, they found a mosaic depicting a dog similar to the remains found. During the eruption, panic-stricken people did not think about the fate of the animals. The dog, tied to a chain, tried to escape but died from asphyxia, strangled by its own chain. He, like all the inhabitants, buildings and Pompeii itself, was buried under a thick layer of ash for almost 2,000 years. This is not the only dog found in Pompeii. They were often close to people, serving as guards, shepherds and faithful companions, just as they do today. Trilobites may reveal the history of the ancient world. Trilobites, ancient marine arthropods, disappeared from the face of the Earth about 250 million years ago, but their fossils continue to reveal the secrets of the ancient world. Scientists from Thailand have discovered 10 new species of trilobites in the Khan Tao region, dating back to the late Cambrian era, about 490 million years ago. One of the species was even named after the Thai princess Mahachakri Serenhorn. These fossils were found in Tov, a rock formed by a volcanic eruption. Scientists used radioisotope techniques to analyze the zircon contained in the tuff and determined the age of these layers to be 497-485 million years. These finds are key to understanding the Cambrian era, which until now has remained poorly understood. In addition, 12 more species of trilobites, already known in other parts of the world but found for the first time in Thailand, were discovered, providing new information about the history of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana. Tough analysis not only helps determine the age of fossils, but can also provide new insights into the history of other regions, including China, Australia, and North America. According to geologist Shelley Wernett, these fossils are a record of evolutionary change that allows us to better understand the processes taking place on the planet today. Aliens on the Walls Archaeologists working at the Swaga Swaga Nature Reserve in Tanzania made the astonishing discovery of 52 previously unknown rock shelters in 2018, many of which contained ancient rock art. However, most of the drawings were lost due to weathering. Of those that have survived, the most interesting were the anthropomorphic figures with unusually large hats. Particularly noteworthy was the shelter called Amakahi 4. On its walls, scientists discovered a well-preserved frieze depicting anthropomorphic creatures with buffalo hats. These drawings may be key to understanding similar figures found elsewhere. Dating the Amakahi Panel 4 has proven challenging, but it is believed to be at least several hundred years old. The walls of the shelter are painted red with the exception of five white figures. Based on the weathering of the pigment and the lack of depictions of domestic animals, scientists suggest that the drawings may be very ancient and date back to the hunter-gatherer period. Interestingly, similar figures with large hats were found in other rock shelters in the Kondua region. In all images, the figures have the same placement and direction of their hands, although with some differences in detail. This suggests that such figures played an important role in the culture of the ancient inhabitants of this region. Scientists are turning to the Sandaway culture of the region for answers to these mysterious paintings. Some rock paintings are still used by local people for rituals, which can help in revealing their meanings. Ancient Bowl in the Garage in the UK's Cotswold region, a couple found an antique bowl in their garage and asked an antiques expert for an appraisal. They were surprised to learn that the bowl was an ancient Chinese artifact from the Qin Dynasty, dating back to the 17th century. Made from rhinoceros horn, this cup was used for libations in religious ceremonies and could serve as an aphrodisiac. Experts date the bowl to the end of the 17th or beginning of the 18th century. It is planned to be auctioned by Hansa's auctioneers with an estimate of 3,000 pounds. Such bowls were a symbol of victory and were used in ceremonies among Chinese scholars. Not only did they have cultural significance, but they were also considered magical. The horn could change color, warning of poison in the drink. This find is of great historical and cultural value, demonstrating the complexity and grandeur of ancient Chinese traditions. Cobblestones for thousands of dollars on the banks of the Yangtze lies the small village of Hajiaba in Sichuan province, China. There is no oil or fertile land here, but there is something more valuable – beautiful river cobblestones. These stones bring millions of dollars to the villages every year. In Hajiaba, every resident from a young age learns to distinguish valuable stones from ordinary ones. The work is not easy. It is mainly done by strong men, as large cobblestones are valued. They sell about $3 million worth of stones a year 
year. During the dry season, the river recedes, revealing a 10-kilometer long beach where rocks accumulate. The uniqueness of local cobblestones lies in their patterns and veining. Some resemble paintings or geometric patterns. The village has both skilled stone appraisers and those who hope to get lucky by collecting anything unusual. Even the resellers are present, buying up lucky finds from less experienced residents. Notable among the finds was the hard road of shoe stone, which sold for fifteen and a half thousand dollars. Hajiab's success has encouraged neighboring villages to also search for stones, but locals are confident in the uniqueness of their cobblestones. The village's popularity among tourists and Chinese people wanting to buy stones is growing. For local residents, stones have become a part of life. Every house has a decoration made from especially beautiful cobblestones found on the river. This has become part of a local tradition, surprising those who are used to other home decorations. According to local legend, it all started many years ago, when a passing couple saw a beautiful stone in a peasant's house and wanted to buy it. Thus began the era of trade in Hajiaba's unique stones. The Importance of the Wheel Modern civilization would look very different without the ancient invention of the wheel. The exact time and place of its invention are still a matter of debate. The wheel was probably invented independently by different civilizations at different times. The simplicity of the wheel suggests that it could have appeared even in cultures that did not seem to need it. The first evidence of the wheel dates back to 4,500 to 3,300 BC in Mesopotamia, where it was used in the form of a potter's wheel. Early transport wheels were made from solid planks of wood. Improvements in wheel design occurred around 2200 to 1550 BC in the Middle Bronze Age, when spoke wheels and chariots appeared. Nowadays, a wheel is necessary for almost all types of transport, not just land transport. Airplanes use wheels to take off and land, and most helicopters are also equipped with wheels. Even magnetic levitation maglev systems have folding wheels for slow movement. The wheel plays an important role not only in transport, without gear wheels and years, we might still be in the Dark Ages. Hundreds of Silesian Bracteates in the Polish city of Sprotava, archaeologists have found a unique 14th-century treasure containing from 100 to 150 silver Silesian bracteates. The excavations were carried out on the territory where the burger site was previously located, a narrow plot of land with a house with a small frontage to the street. Researchers have discovered the remains of a textile bag containing ancient coins that were minted mainly between 1250 and 1300. These thin plate coins were characteristic of Silesian Alicia in the 13th century, but by the beginning of the 14th century they began to be replaced by thicker coins. The origin of these coins lies in the coin workshops in Silesia, where their use was short due to regular withdrawals. People traded four old coins for three new ones, with the fourth coin held as a tax for the mint master. This prevented hoarding as the coins lost their value over time. It is assumed that the treasury could have belonged to a relatively wealthy person. The find is considered one of the most significant in the region, given the of the surviving bracteates, most of them were melted down for other uses. Collection of coins and swords in Mecklenburg, Germany, volunteer archaeologists made an amazing discovery. A treasure of seven Bronze Age swords and a 6,000th collection of silver coins from the 11th century. The finds were made on the site of a former Burgess site. The seven swords, which scientists have dated back 3,000 years, are unique artifacts from the Bronze Age. The peculiarity is their number in one place, which is rare in this region. Assembling swords from fragments opens up new perspectives in the study of ancient rituals and sacrifices. An impressive collection of 6,000 silver coins stored in a clay pot was discovered in Rügen. These coins come from a variety of places, including West Germany, England, Denmark, Hungary and the modern Czech Republic, indicating extensive trade connections of the time. In the Mecklenburg Lake District, volunteers found a 900-year-old reliquary vessel used to store religious objects. The pot contained, among other things, neck rings, rings, a pearl necklace with golden stones, and two containers for relics. Funeral packages and masks 
In Peru, at the archaeological site of Pachacamac near Lima, more than 70 funeral bundles from the Wari culture dating back to around 200 AD were found. These finds reveal the secrets of ancient civilization. Pachacamac, rich in pyramids, plazas, and cemeteries, preserves the history of the Wari people. Researchers discovered funeral bundles from 800-1100 AD near the temple. They contain unique masks carved from wood and ceramics, which were typical for rituals. Archaeologists also found staffs with images of Wari decorated with shells from Ecuador. These objects are associated with the staff god important to the spiritual life of the Wari. These discoveries are important for understanding the cultural and religious world of the ancient Andes and their funerary traditions. Ruins of the Liangzhu the Chinese Cultural Heritage Administration has announced new archaeological discoveries in the ancient city of Liangzhu and its water supply system. These finds provided new information about the three phases of Liangzhu's development, from scattered settlements through the creation of a water supply system to the construction of the city itself. Located in the Zhejiang province, the ruins of Liangzhu are evidence of Chinese civilization dating back at least 5,000 years and are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Since 20, researchers have been excavating sites south of Liangzhu, including Beixun, Fanuanshan, and Nanawan Miao. In one of these sites, archaeologists discovered a tomb containing rich funerary items, including jade jewelry, belonging to a woman of high social status. During excavations around the ruins of Liangzhu, about 20 ancient dams were found, which were part of the water supply system. These discoveries confirm the complexity and high level of development of ancient Chinese civilization. One thing is impossible to understand. Where did hundreds of years of our history go? Sometimes it seems that thousands of years ago ancient civilizations were very developed and at some point development stopped or even rolled back. What do you think about this? Write your opinion in the comments under the video. Thanks for your views. Bye everyone!